All right, y'all. Today we're here in the shop and we're checking out the all new Sedona Ridge Saw. Now this is the latest tire that Sedona has come out with. Uh, the last tire they came out with was the trail saw. That's what we have on our R-Max right here. And you can tell by looking at these two tires, uh, they're definitely different. There's some different characteristics about the Ridge Saw that I think will actually far exceed the trail saw. Now the trail saw is a great tire and we get about 6,000 miles out of these tires on our machines. And I talked to Zach at Sedona, who is the uh, brand manager there, and he was telling me that we uh, should probably get eight to 9,000 miles out of these tires. Now, if you're wondering what this tire is really made for, this is an all-terrain off-road tire. This is a lot like a truck tire. In my opinion, when I look at this tread, if you look at the design of it, it looks a lot like some of the truck tires on the market. So I think it's gonna handle really well. It's gonna ride and drive really well. You're still gonna get some great off-road capability with the 15 millimeter deep lugs. Um, I think this tire is gonna perform phenomenal. And there's one thing about this tire that's really kind of different and I can't wait to see how it how it works. If you look at the sidewall at the edge here, I've never seen an off-road tire with this edge kind of like this. It looks like the tire came out farther and then drops off. I've never seen a tire like that, so I'm really interested to see how that's going to do both off-road and on-road. Now, the thing about the Sedona tires, you know, this tire is made with their smooth ride technology and it's kind of based off the Coyote platform. So if you're familiar with a Coyote, this tire is kind of based off of that, but on steroids. This tire comes in a 24 up to a 27 inch in a bias ply and then it comes in a 30 and 33 inch in a radial. The one thing I'm really looking forward to seeing how this tire does out there is the longevity of it because we do a lot of riding on the roads, uh, whether it's dirt roads, hard roads, because if you go down the Hatfield-McCoy trails, you're going to do a lot of road riding to get to the trail. So if you have a tire that's got a little bit more of an aggressive and spread out lug pattern, you're not going to get nearly the miles out of those as you will out of something like this, an all-terrain tire. This tire is kind of a cross between the rip saw, and if you're familiar with the Sedona rip saw, that tire is basically like a run-flat tire. Even though Sedona doesn't label it like that or market the tire like that, it is pretty much like a run flat. You could literally run that tire with no air in and it's not gonna sag, it's not gonna go flat. So this is kind of built off of that same concept and the same carcass and technology. And uh, I think this tire here is gonna fill the void for a lot of folks, especially if you are looking for that 24 uh, to 27 inch tire and you're looking for something, maybe it's farming or agricultural, ranching, or maybe you're just out there riding and say a Yamaha or Honda, something that takes that size tire. Uh, I think it's gonna make a difference. And uh, then once you get up into this tire, the 30 to 33 inch size tire, uh, this is really going to make a difference. So I'm going to do a pretty deep dive on this tire. We're going to mount this thing up and we're going to drive it and we're going to see how it does. Now, obviously, I'm not going to wait till we get to about the 8,000 mile mark. Although I will do a video once we get to like eight, 9,000 miles and we're going to see where we're at tread depth wise. I'm anxious to see if I get eight to 9,000 miles out of this tire. You know, the tires are just getting better nowadays. Sedona uh, has been a partner of ours for a long time. I really like their tires. I think they do a great job on them. And this is a low PSI tire. So it's a 10 PSI tire. Uh, so you don't have to worry about taking it up to, you know, 18, 20, 22 pounds and then trying to let some air out to get better traction and losing your load rating and your ply rating. And the structure on the sidewall of this tire is what's going to really make a difference and be able to give you those really heavy loads that a lot of us are getting on our side-by-sides or even ATVs now. And uh, one thing I did was I mounted this up on the St. O bead lock and you can see that's what I have on here. I'm just a... a big fan of the Sano bead lock. One of the things I do whenever I mount up a bead lock is I will actually put blue Loctite on the bolts so that way they don't come out and I'll torque them to the specs of a Sedona. 17 foot pounds are the torque specs on these wheels 
And then you'll also notice that on these wheels, there are a lot of holes. Now, the reason they do that is for folks that may change them a lot, or maybe they get a little overzealous and uh, they aren't torquing them to the proper specs and they end up stripping the bolt out. You have a lot of holes that you can adjust that ring on the Sedona wheels. Uh, so that way it's not like, oh, well, this wheel's no good or I can't run a bolt in that wheel and now I'm gonna start having air leaks. Another tip for you, if you're gonna do something like this, whenever you're mounting these up, you do it in kind of a star pattern so that way you get an even torque across the wheel. And what I'll do is I'll take my impact, put it on the lowest setting so that when that bolt goes in and basically touches it, it stops. That'll be my first time around. And then I'll go back around with the impact one notch higher and I'll basically run them on just a little bit more. And then I'll get my torque wrench and then I'll set it to the 17 foot pounds and uh, then that way I'm good to go. And like I said, I use blue Loctite to make sure that they don't come out or come loose after we're riding for a while. Now you may want to check them after you're riding for a while, but uh, typically if I torque them down to proper specs and use blue Loctite, I never have any back out or come loose. We're going to be mounting these up on our R-Max and we're also going to be mounting these up on our Fisher's Off-Road Rentals units on all of our Can-Ams and we're going to see how these bad boys do and that is one of the coolest things about us having the rentals is because we'll put 5,000 miles on our units in about three months so that gives us a really good idea of the tires and how they're going to handle, perform, traction. And the good thing about that is it's not one person driving it. It is several people driving that unit. So you're going to get your heavy lead footers. You're going to get your light footers. You're going to get the ones that are scared to drive. You're going to get ones that overdrive. So the tires are definitely going to take a beating and it's everything from rocks to water. You never know what you're going to run into out there on the trail, but uh, I am really stoked about this tire. I like the design, the tread pattern, and I can't wait to get it on my RMAX and try it out. Stay tuned. I will keep y'all posted. Thanks a lot, guys. Take care and have a good one.